We have some breaking news to bring you now here at 248 here on Denver 7 Plus. There is a verdict in the Mark Redwine trial. Mark Redwine is accused of killing his 13-year-old son Dylan a few years ago. He has been on trial down in La Plata County for several weeks now. Uh, we were informed just after 2 o'clock that the jury, after deliberations, has reached a verdict. We are standing by now as everyone is standing there. That means that the jury is coming into that courtroom and will read this verdict. Mark Redwine faces charges of second-degree murder and child abuse resulting in the death of his 13-year-old son Dylan. Let's take you live inside the courtroom right now. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Parker, are you the foreman of the jury? Yes. And uh, I've been informed <coughs> that the jury has reached a verdict uh, prior to receiving the answer to the question that it sent up. Yes. And is, is this verdict unanimous? Would you hand the verdict forms to Cindy, please? Mr. Edwin, would you please stand up? Jury verdict count number one, murder in the second degree. We, the jury, find the defendant, Mark Redwine, guilty of count number one. Be quiet, please. Murder in the second degree, signed by Mr. Park. Jury verdict count number two, child abuse. We, the jury, find the defendant, Mark Redwine, guilty of count two, child abuse, uh, signed by Colin Parker. Further, we the jury find that with respect to the verdict question as to this count as follows. Did the child abuse result in death? The answer is yes. Does they decide which to have the jury pulled? Yes, please. Ms. Fortune, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Ms. Lopez, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Cole, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Mooney, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Ms. Nowak, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Streets, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Nelson, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Walton, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Uh, Mr. Tesler, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Boykin, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Parker, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? And Ms. Ludwig, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Ladies and gentlemen, you have now completed your duties as jurors in this case and are discharged with a thank you to court. The question may arise whether you may not discuss this case with lawyers, defendant, or other person. Your guidance, I'm instructing you that whether you talk to anyone or not is entirely your decision. It is proper for others to discuss this case with you and you may talk to them if you do not need to do so. If you talk to them, you may talk to tell them as much or as little as you want about your deliberations and facts that influence your decision. If any person persists in discussing this case of your objection or becomes critical of your jury service, either before or after any discussion is begun, please report to me. If you have any questions that I can answer, um, just wait for me in the jury room. There's a few things that I need to do prior to coming down there. It shouldn't take very long. I know it's also been a long uh, time for you guys. If you want to take off, you're free to do that. I really appreciate all the, appreciate all the work you've done into it. And a tough case. You guys. And I just want to thank you on behalf of Colorado for all the work. Everybody rise for the jury, and you go down to the jury room.
there you have it. After about a full day's worth of uh, jury deliberations, the jury in La Plata County coming back with a guilty verdict, finding Mark Redwine guilty of murder in the second degree as well as child abuse, resulting in the death. He was charged with the death of his 13-year-old son, Dylan Redwine who had originally disappeared back in 2012. His body was found in June of 2013. Now, this has been a long time coming just to get to this trial. Mark Redwine was arrested in 2017. The trial delayed multiple times. This version of the trial down in La Plata County gone on for about four and a half weeks. Throughout, prosecutors argued that Mark killed his son, Dylan, during a custody visit. At one point, claiming that Mark became angry when his son confronted him with embarrassing photographs. At one point, one of the prosecutors said that the defendant killed his son because of a damaged relationship that turned deadly on November 18th, 2012. Throughout this, the defense had argued that Dylan had possibly been killed by a wild animal, calling the prosecution uh, and their case and their evidence weak. Those closing arguments wrapped up yesterday. Ultimately, then, the jury had about a little less than an hour of deliberations yesterday. They started off again this morning morning just after 830. One question was ultimately asked about reading back some transcripts, but then the, the judge saying that this verdict had been reached, a unanimous verdict from this jury on, again, just those two charges, murder in the second degree, guilty, child abuse resulting in death, guilty. We will be getting a sentencing date for Mark Redwine October 8th. Uh, I believe is what we've just been been told here in the newsroom. So October 8th is when he will be sentenced again on those two charges. Our digital team has been listening in, has been following along throughout this case, the multiple years of this case. You can read their updated story on this verdict as well as going back in throughout the history of this case. All of those articles are up right now on the denverchannel.com. We'll have the absolute latest, including reaction from down in Durango following this guilty verdict coming up on Denver 7 News at 4, 5, and 6 o'clock.